In this video, I'm gonna share with you some cut and come again vegetables that were a surprise to me that kept growing in our greenhouse. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery, and I am in here in our 100 foot by 25 foot greenhouse, and this is all of these surprising vegetables that were cut and come again for us this year. So first of all, when I was planting veggies in our outdoor garden, I didn't realize how many of these would come back again after they were cut because often we just ended up having a freeze and I was never able to give it the full time for that vegetable to recover and grow another crop. But if you happen to have a greenhouse, here are the vegetables that will definitely come again if you cut them. Some of them you just cut a little bit, others you cut the whole thing off and it will all grow back. So let's take a look. The first cut and grow again vegetable that I'm going to recommend is Swiss chard. So Swiss chard has been such an amazing veggie for us. We've been able to eat off of these few plants and a few others in the greenhouse for almost an entire year now. And you just cut the sides and they'll basically keep growing. We literally cannot keep up with just a few plants. So I highly recommend Swiss chard. I think it's one of the hardiest and it just keeps on going, which I think is amazing. The next cut and come again vegetable I'm going to recommend are green onions. These are amazing. We literally just cut the sides and it keeps on growing. We have quite a few and you can also start these from just putting in ground the pieces that you buy from the grocery store and just stick them in the ground and they will grow amazing. They start off small like this when you start them off and then they'll just keep on growing and I just keep the middle stock and you can just cut the side ones as they keep on growing. Now one of the surprising cut and come again vegetables I want to mention is cabbage. So this here is a second head of cabbage that's growing out of a cabbage that I planted last spring that I cut back, we ate, and then there's a whole new small cabbage growing and actually a second one right here too. So these might not grow as big as the first time that you plant from seed or you know plant a whole new cabbage plant, but this is really forming up nicely and we'll make some great veggie dinners. Then we have spinach. So spinach is a lot like Swiss chard, it's in the same family and you can go ahead and just cut those sides and they will grow back really beautifully as well. Another cut and come again vegetable is dill. So this is dill that I cut back maybe a month or two ago and you can see it's completely grown back. It was cut down to the ground. I left maybe one or two small pieces of of dill leaves coming out and now look, it's all growing back. A really surprising cut and come again vegetable is celery. So I planted this celery in the spring of last year from seed and I have literally not needed to plant celery again. I have cut these plants back and they have grown back. And you know, it does take a little bit of time because you cut them all down to the ground, but they really do come back. So here is another example of celery that I cut all the way back. You can see where I cut and now it's growing back again. So it's this one had a little bit of cold damage from being in the edge of the greenhouse, but it is amazing how much we can get new celery plants growing after we've eaten all the celery off of it. Another popular cut and come again vegetable is kale. So these are kale leaves we can just cut off from the side, they'll keep growing back. And this is just a different variety of kale. So this is the dino kale. And this does really amazing, just cut off the smaller leaves and it will continue to grow through the top as well. Another amazing cut and come again green is lettuce. So this is probably our most popular cut and come again vegetable. You can just cut the outsides of it. It'll keep on growing. And as long as the conditions stay good, if it doesn't get too hot or too cold, they won't bolt and you can just continue to harvest as it grows. Here's another cut and come again green that's really surprising and that is broccoli. So once the broccoli matures, it gets big, you'll just come here and cut underneath and then we'll have all of these side shoots which will grow smaller broccolis that we can also eat and harvest. There's also another green called Chinese broccoli or gailan. So this is in the same family as broccoli, brassicas, and you can see here that it continues to have shoots as we harvest. So we've harvested from all of these plants throughout the winter and you can see there's little shoots coming up. So as we continue to harvest, there are new pieces that we're able to eat and it's super delicious. 
Another cut and come again plant is arugula. So arugula is a little bit of a spicy green that is amazing in salads and you can just cut all of the leaves from the outside as it continues to grow and it'll keep on producing. Now I'd love to hear in the comments below if you have any other vegetables that you've grown that were cut and come again, because I think this is such an easy way to grow. You don't have to start from seed all the time or buy starts at the store and you can keep on having more vegetables time after time. So leave a comment below and let me know. Now, if you don't yet have a greenhouse or you're trying to decide what kind of greenhouse system to get, go ahead and watch my video all about choosing the right greenhouse and what kind of systems you can add to it so it stays warmer in the winter too. 